Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, Ticket. today we're gonna be diving back to some more Create Above and Beyond. So hopping back into some more Create, I decided I was gonna go ahead and build myself a secondary platform. Now, it's not a large platform, but it is gonna be enough space, I think, to get some of the extra stuff that sort of needs to be automated uh, along with tier one. Because at this point, we have completed the high aspirations here, tier one. Um, I can go ahead and basically craft this and we can go ahead and complete it. Uh, it's basically done. So we will be doing that here soon. Um, but it does talk about in the overview here, it does say basically, hey, after tier one, we might want to make sure that we have a good supply of a few things and get into copper machinery. And what it's talking about, it's talking about this taking over here and getting into the copper machinery or utility, um, which is basically automating rubber. So we should be able to easily automate rubber. Um, we are going to set up a few trees like this and we can produce tons of rubber. We should have a steady supply of it, which is going to be really helpful, especially if we want to maintain belts. Um, and as you can see, belts are incredibly useful. So we definitely want that. So I sort of have a goal as well. I want to go ahead and make myself a different tool. Um, at the moment, uh, we have an okay tool, but I think a Manoc is probably gonna be one of the better tools that we can have, um, as this thing is going to basically take the place of just about everything, um, except for a comma. So it'll do everything except for shear. So this right here is gonna be a pretty good ax. We could just use a regular ax, but this is going to also uh, work as a farming tool so we can use it on dirt as well. It's gonna be pretty decent. Doesn't even use a shovel head. Notice there is no more shovel heads in Tinker, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so we need a pickaxe head and then we need an actual ax head. And then the rest of this actual piece is just going to be wood. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with it. I'm just gonna apply diamond and later on apply redstone to it. Um, for now, until we unlock better tools later on down the road, it's probably gonna be one of our better options. Um, that was a tough tool handle. Actually, no, we need a regular tool handle. I don't know why I made that. I'll save it for later though. So let's combine this together. Good old fashioned Tinkers. By the way, if you didn't know, um, in 116 version of Tinkers, uh, things have really changed. There's a whole lot. So Tinkers is not what you think it is. So if you have a specific tool that you used to make back in 112, you, it's, it's not the same anymore. I mean, it might be similar, like some things like this are similar where you have your tool and you can apply like diamond to it to uh, make it a little bit better, give it a more durability and things like that. But it's not always the, the like putting diamond on, it's not the best. If I didn't have a bunch of diamonds, I wouldn't have done that. Um, this is just to help with the durability. Of course, I do have repair kits in my bag. And the reason I'm making it out of stone is so I can easily repair it with cobblestone and making that super, super easy. So I want to fill this in. Uh, so I do have chisel here. And so I'm going to fill all of this in with this particular wood type, just like this. I believe wands also exist in here. So I could make myself an iron wand or higher. Iron wand would be the best. And that is going to give, uh, give us a little bit of utility. I don't have a whole lot of iron, but making myself a wand should be pretty easy. There we go. So just an iron one. And uh, I think we're going to be getting ourselves some crafting stuff um, going a little bit better. You might notice I have a crafting station over here. So there's a tip. Somebody told me that there was a barrel that we can make that is really nice. And so I want to try that out. Oh, is the the iron one only builds vertically. It does not build horizontally, or at least that is a mode, right? Um... Let's see, this is a, so we set this to extend sides of an original block. Interesting, it's not one to extend the sides of this block. Is that for every block? If I build this. Oh no, it's only for this Tinker's block. Oh man, of course it is. Of course it's just for this block. So one cool thing about storage is apparently if we take these runes, we can actually grant ourselves some rather large storage. Right here, 72 slots in an arcane barrel. That's pretty ridiculous um and i believe these will connect yeah directly up to here so it's pretty large right and we can connect that up to a crafting station and use this as like a, a mini storage unit right that uh, we can just do jei crafts out of 
which is pretty handy. So if you put some uh, materials in there that we use frequently, like wood and andesite and stuff, um, we should be able to craft out of here for the most part. So to get that automated, I now have the uh, boral extractors. I have six of those. So much easier to get when you can actually make the andesite machines like from nothing, like they're just passively being generated. Um, so I can actually make these a bit faster. However, we're running out of iron. Luckily, we don't need a much of iron right now. All we need is copper. So up top here, I went ahead and added a press system. I went ahead and removed the one we had down here. I'm going to need another press, but this is going to be nice. So it's going to allow me to get like, I'm going to do 16. It's just going to allow me to passively just let this go ahead and, and be a press, right? Um, it is running off of a water wheel that I have back here. This is all semi-temporary. I know it's like a joke, right? It's it's quote unquote temporary, which just means it's going to be here forever, right? But no, I eventually plan on making these systems a little bit nicer uh, later on down the road once we have better things. I know a lot of you guys have been commenting and saying, hey, you, you can use brass, blah, blah, blah. I can't. I can't use brass yet. Brass is locked. So this pack does not have normal create recipes. So uh, brass, for example, uh, I just want to show this. Just to be able to get a brass ingot or any form of brass requires you to basically cook it down and mix molten zinc and copper together in order to get this. The problem comes is how do we get these materials in a molten form? And that's probably going to be Tinker's, um, Tinker's Construct is probably going to be your best way to do that. Um, so we, we could do this, um, and, but, but even this like brass, yeah, we can't make a brass funnel, right? Until we have a brass machine. These require precision mechanisms, uh, which are part of the tier that we're going to be working with soon. Uh, but it all requires brass. So Believe me, things are going to get interesting <laughs> as we move on to stage two. But for right now, this is all we have to work with. So I have to come up with creative ideas for filtering without filters, basically. So here we go with the press. Now, um, actually, I should probably convert this. No, actually, you know what? We should be good. So I'm going to take this and this. That'll get that spinning. Now, it doesn't matter which direction it's spinning, but you can flip the flow direction. So once this is pulls enough, we should be able to see the actual fluid. If we click on here, we can see these, see what's actually flowing in the pipe. And right here, you can see it is now built up with resin, which is perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Now, if I put a cog here, we can actually transfer the power over and get the power going in the exact direction that we want. And all we want is enough belt to be able to put this into a container, such as a chest. So let's go ahead and take a strainer base, for example, use that as just a place to set our chest. Everything has to go like up one. It's kind of weird. That's the only weird thing that it takes a little bit to get used to to figure out how belts and everything is going to work. So well, that's going to hook there. That pops out, which is perfect. And a side funnel. I mean, this belt really doesn't even need to be that long. It should be just like one long and that'll be fine. Um, now, we need to put the mechanical press on. Now, this can go any which way. Um, I should be able to put a gear on top of here, though, to give this... Yeah, sh I should be able to put a cog and build the cog up from here. And there we go. We have a press that is literally going to be making rubber for us as we do other things. That's pretty nice. I mean, for what it is, I mean, this is uh, going gonna, gonna to keep running. Hopefully, this just constantly makes rubber for us. Now, it's not automatically smelting it, um, which is a thing. But all we got to do is literally throw it inside this chest down here. Actually, I can probably pop a door open right there. I think it's like right here. This one right here. Perfect. I could probably put a trap door there. And that's perfect because all we got to do is go, hey, if we want to smell something, we just throw it in this hole temporarily. And that is going to cook anything that falls down here and should wind up in this chest, which I could funnel back up here. Now, me being the goofball that I am, I didn't actually know that once we complete this section, 
I thought that the overview was just like saying, hey, just do this. I didn't realize the high aspirations had a section in here for this. So like all we got to have is some cured rubber, right? And bam, because we've auto already automated this. Now, this is something that we don't have, but we can actually make it. However, we don't have a way of auto crafting it, but because we are making these parts, we can now make this sealed mechanism, um, which is going to allow us to get some stuff done. So here's a copper machine. So it's a copper casing, and then this is going to have its saw uses, which is going to allow us to make hose pulleys, smart fluid filters, and also, what? Is that a magmatic dynamo with a redstone coil? It, it absolutely is. Um, an aqueous accumulator. Okay. We can make copper back tanks. Is this a like an inventory tank? A wearable tank? for carrying pressurized air. So does this let us swim underwater longer? I've actually never seen that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then hardened components. Kind of interesting. I wonder where the other component would be. So that gets us straight into uh, the hardened. Um, okay, oh, it's just a different color. It just looks like brass. That makes sense. Uh, but the fact that we get a magmatic dynamo. Interesting. So that's gonna be a way to generate power with lava. Wondering where this is actually going. Hmm. I mean, I love what it says here. Congrats. It says, now you have the good supply of sealed mechanisms. Your future self will thank you. Good. I do want to prep for my future self. So with that done, we have a few other things. Oh, we get scaffolding. That's really nice. And some barrels. These are all, by the way, things to definitely strive for because we're going to eventually make some of them anyways. Like a nature's compass. Of course, I'm going to need that. Um be able to find biomes and there's other stuff the other game mode this like gives you like flight and stuff anyways we are now moving into this portion chapter two start the automation target this time is electron tubes placing them into the kinetic mechanism will send you to the next tier happy inventing awesome so Right here, not part of the mechanism chain, yet very important for creating relevant machines. Use melters, fluid pipes, and mechanical mixers, and you can create a couple of different metal alloys. Brass is one of them. Pumping the molten alloy into the casing, table, or basin, fly into the ingots. Okay. Um, for less hassle with manual effort, it is recommended to set up ingot-to-ingot semi-automation for creating alloys using the setup above. Interesting. So I'm glad it like mentioned that because I was I was trying to figure out myself how am I going to go about getting brass because you know that's a thing right. Um, but it seems like that's exactly what I was thinking like using melters right. So we're going to end up using melters to do this. Um, so melters are pretty slow though, but if this is how if this is the only way we're going to get brass using the pumps here makes this a little bit easier. Like if we're able to pump this directly out. And so this goes into like the fluid and then this goes into the mixer. So here's the actual mixing recipe. I should probably add that just the molten brass. So right here. So we just basically pull these two materials together with pumps into this and we should be good. So I got some things prepped up and waited a little while. Went to, went to dinner with my wife and of course, come back after letting this run for a while and I have plenty of rubber, <laughs> plenty of rubber. I normally don't set AFK for anything, but I wanted to make sure I had enough rubber to be able to advance as fast as I was going to be. So uh, with this, we now can make sealed mechanisms, quite a few of them actually. Um, so we have 16 of these and I think these need casings to be upgraded, copper casings. So this, these aren't bad. So these just need copper sheets, which we do have some stored away in my fantastic backpack this this backpack is like mary poppins backpack i mean we got we got 14 shafts in here we got like machines shoots i mean this is straight up mary poppins backpack right here um so with these sheets uh we need to upgrade some logs here we go so bam do a little bit of crafting not too much at all surround this and this is going to actually be really helpful oh boy all of that. Oh, we get some bonuses as well. Ooh, I like the bonuses. I wish you got more bonuses. That'd be really nice in this. 
if there were rewards, if there was more rewards for completing some of these things. Um, but anyways, so now I have fluid pipes and I have these machines. The big thing with these machines though, is as we looked, we can make these particular items here, like a spout, a drain, Oculus accumulator, things that can generate water, like Oculus accumulator is pretty nice. Uh, it just automatically creates water for us that we can pipe. Um, but this right here, I almost want to think can create automatically. No, it can't automatically pull. It can put source blocks of water out, but it can't actually, uh, can't actually generate them. I don't think. Um, so what we need to do with this though, is put it through here because I do want a smart fluid pipe. I'm almost positive that I'm going to need that, uh, the smart fluid pipe. So at least one of them, that's the main thing that I'm going to need. It's going to give us two, but really I only need one for right now. Um, so up here, I should be able to set this up. I'm going to have to transfer power and stuff around. which is going to be pretty janky. We do have this down here, which is generating some extra power. Um, but we're going to go ahead and set this up. Um, so what I'll have is two smelteries. They're each going to be on their own line. So we can have one here and one here. The smelteries are actually going to be raised off the ground. These are going to receive the two different fluids or two different uh, ingots. We're going to have one getting zinc and one getting copper. Once these melt in here, uh, which you can only do a few at a time, so that's where hoppers are going to come into play. We should be able to pipe these fluids out of here uh, with a pump. Now we do need a filter, however, so that's where this filter is going to come into play because this should be able to only pull certain things out of the cauldron that we're about to, or the basin that we're gonna be using. Moment, this is my plan. Um, I'm hoping it's good enough <laughs> for the moment. Um, I do need to make sure that I have power routed here. So power is going to be able to definitely be transferred here. We're gonna use some cogs. However, I don't want this to pull anything out just yet. So for right now, let's go ahead and get the cogs set up. And then I'll definitely pull away from the cog. There we go. So that's hooked up. Let's undo that for right now. Or actually, we can just place that there. Leave the cog. Uh, because I need to get a cog here. And then also extend out and get another cog. But you can kind of see what I'm going with. So I have these two that I'm feeding the two different types of materials. They're going to get put into the basin. We're going to have the mixer here that is going to definitely need a, a rate increase. And hopefully this water wheel can actually power all these things that we have set up here. Hopefully. If not, I might have to make some sort of small windmill. Um, but I need to get power over here onto some cogs. What is the best way to do that? They don't have to go the same way. But they do have to be powered. And I'm thinking, hmm, like not a large cog or anything like that. We can't do that. This right here, I know exactly what to put on it. Definitely going to get a gearbox. And I'm just learning, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm learning so much about this. So this is pumping, should pump. You see the arrows are actually facing the wrong way. So I will flip that. And we should see that actually being pumped out of here, hopefully. Yes, so there, there you go. It's actually starting to get pumped out. Now, hopefully it stays true and we get the, <laughs> the right amount of stuff going in here. Um, how am I gonna get this cog moved over, I guess? Just literally another cog and then a cog here. Yeah, that's actually pretty simple. Thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult than that. Nope. Literally just, just cogging it up. There we go. That actually looks pretty nice as well. So this needs to be rotated as well. And then that should pull that together. And then what we need here is we actually need a gearbox. And I would prefer to have this ratioed up I just know it's going to probably cause some problems. It seems to be a vertical gearbox. So I need, I definitely need this to be ratioed up if I can. If not, it's fine. It, it will be a slower process, but we can test it out for right now just to make sure everything is going to work. Um, also, we need to make sure this mixes before we, we can collect that. I think I have to collect it with a bucket to use it as a filter. I've, I don't know. I've never, I've never done this before. I've never mixed fluids with this. So this is all new to me. So yeah, that's really slow. We're definitely gonna have to speed that up, but 
Yeah, it's not even fast enough. Um, so yeah, we have to do the whole gear ratio thing. So I want to have to make some more, uh, some more larger cogs. So there we go. We have r just the right amount of speed on this. Um, without it being overstressed, I tried to speed it up a little bit more and it caused overstress. So that's unfortunate. Now, can I access this with a bucket? There's not enough. I don't think to pull out of here. So basically I'm going to need, it doesn't tell me the amount in there either. So I have three. So let's do three more. I do have copper in here. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is split until we get an entire bucket's worth, which should be, we can do three copper here. Oh, and this never moved over. Oh, how is that going to work? Does it have to be like perfectly even? How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to add a filter to this? Out the fluid. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what my problem was. This was actually turned the wrong way. So it wasn't actually able to pull the liquid. So now this should convert the liquid. There we go. And I did put an ex uh, the exact amount for it to be a bucket. And then that should allow me to pull up that filter. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna head over here and cast out a gold cast. So this is gonna be a cast for ingots. I can take this cast and slap it in here and we should have some sort of brass automation. <laughs> I know it's a really janky setup, but this should be brass automation. And that bucket there, once that's done mixing, we should have a nice shiny bucket of brass, hopefully. And then we can just let this run, right? All I have to do is hook this up. Let's hope, let's hope this doesn't <laughs> like max out on our stress level. Yes, exactly what I wanted to do. Can I fill this back up by the way? Yes, I can. And now it's gonna drain that brass into here, filling it up. That's gonna turn into brass ingots. Ah, uh, and we now have automated brass ingots. Oh, that feels so nice. So to finish things up, I of course today want to get that the bottom area at least fully automated if I can. So that way the elevator goes down and then comes back up, goes down, comes back up. Um, and I, I'm kind of considering what to do there. I think I want to go with just a timer and see if I can't set a timer for a, you know, a good amount of time. We'll see. Uh, so it, so long as it's going, it's just repeating and going back up. Um, that's what we want. And we want that to be based on a toggle latch if I can get that set up. So we'll see. We'll see how we may have a timer going into a timer going into a timer. I don't know if we can do that. But if we have to extend the timeout for long periods of time, that's what I want to do. Uh, but they kind of made it easy in here for redstone or yeah, for redstone wiring. Uh, Project uh, Red is in here. Yeah, Project Red Core is in here. But it's it's done in a very interesting way. So if I take four of this and one iron and I place these in here, this is, should come down and crush. Oh, that's right. This was actually hooked. Yikes. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a belt here to just send the power along. There we go. And that should kick this on. I forgot that literally shut everything off, didn't it? Oh yeah. And the middle was powered as well. Oh no, I've got power issues. Um, I, I tried to set this up so that way I could just replace the basin with this, but I forgot the uh, power transfer is a little off. I'm goofy, man. I Sometimes I read recipes and I just read them completely wrong. So it was actually copper, which I, I guess in my mind thought because other recipes I've used in the past, you know, they, they actually use iron for most redstone tasks, but there we go. Um, and we need to do this three times till we get three of them. And the fun thing is, is uh, we actually get 12 wire for that. And we make this assembly. This assembly then can be put in a stone cutter and you get all, you can make all of these different types without having to go through, which the normal recipes for these are, are pretty, <laughs> pretty substantial. So it's nice that we have this option. So this is going to be exactly what I want. Yes. So it is going to be a timer. I think a better way to do this um, would be to potentially have some sort of comparator that reads this chest. 
when this chest is empty, of course, um, it will send a redstone signal. But to make this really, really simple and, and simple to understand, let's just go with a timer solution. Um, so right here is where our redstone is going to reside. And we can set up a very, very simple redstone contraption um, that is going to basically just be two blocks. So let's get this set up. Perfect. And what we want to do is we want to have a timer that faces a powered toggle latch. Um, and I want the, the powered toggle latch to be here. And so what will happen is we should be able to send it a redstone signal, for example. Um, like, uh, I, I think a lever would be kind of difficult to, to illustrate. Let's actually use this, the timer that we have here. Should be able to point it into this area. So you can see it, it went and then toggled. So it's just basically toggling. So to change this to make sure it's working better and to get it to do what I want it to do, all we have to do is up the time. So at the moment, it is set to just two seconds. So I can bring this all the way up to as long as I want. Say I want it to be five minutes. Um, so we can go basically, what, five times 60 is going to give us 300 seconds. So if we want it to be five, I think I want this to be more like 10 if I can do it. So, um, so 10 times 60 is going to be 600 seconds individual. So let's see if we can bring this up. We should be able to bring it up to as high as we want, I think. 600 seconds. That's awesome. Of course, you can bring that down. And so this will be a 10 minute timer. So this will drop on the 10 minutes. I'm going to drop it now. So it has it has 10 minutes to go down there and load. It'll this will flip at the 10 minutes. It'll have 10 minutes to come back up and unload and then it'll keep repeating this process. And that's exactly what I want. It's basically automated here. Um, the only other way that would be better would be to definitely have something that's detecting how many items are in here. So that way we know, because at the moment, I don't know how long it takes to load and or unload. So I'm just going to give it 10 minutes each. Um, and I also don't know how long it takes for this to fill up. So it should, it could be shorter. We'll, we'll test and see. Um, overall, I, like, I, I have no idea at the moment. So I'm just going to go with those times. I think that should give it plenty of time. So now that we've unlocked brass, what does that mean? Well, not much because at the moment we can't even utilize the brass that we have because we have to go through all of the processes of tier two in order to make use of that brass to be able to make the machines that allow us to make like brass funnels and stuff like that. So at least we have it done, but you know what time it is? I think it's time to thank the sponsor of today's video. Huge thank you is of course going to go to Coach B. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on the Discord, becoming an absolute boss and becoming a premium Discord member. Of course, guys, if you're interested in joining our amazing Discord, all you got to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. I swear, if you've watched this so many times, you're going to have that ingrained into your brain. At least I'm going to try. <laughs> also, if you want to find me, I am over on twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. That is that is where you can find me. Wow, it just disappeared. That is where you can find me streaming. I've been streaming satisfactory. So if you enjoy a game like this, if you enjoy a bot pack like this, you're probably really going to enjoy Satisfactory. I've been having a lot of fun playing that over there, over on Twitch. So be sure to check that out. By the way, all links down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, we are learning. I am learning. This is a learning process. I have not really played with Create a whole lot before this. So I'm definitely enjoying this. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.